Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Wacky Wednesday. Hopefully, this week has been treating you well. There have been a few big wins for school, uh, as well as for students, possibly. We will talk more about that when we get into the sports. As for now, let's get into the announcements. Today for lunch, we have Wiener Wrap, Chicken Sandwich and Pepperoni Pizza Ripper, Turkey Sandwich and Special Chef Salad. So... <clears throat> Driver's Ed has started again, but sadly today was the last day to sign up, so bummer. Uh, the sign up deadline is today. Also, just a quick reminder to check out emails to see if you got in. Driver's Ed will come around next season, so you will have another chance to sign up then. It's not always easy to keep track of your stuff, especially with seven classes. It can be easy to forget things. If you do not find something, or if you do find something that doesn't belong to you, please return it to the office. I know if you lost something, you'd want it back too. Don't be a thief. Yeah, yeah, please don't steal. That, that's really mean. Um, by the way, guys, oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on, we got this. Are you looking for Falcon Spirit gear? Yes, well, sir. This Friday, at, this Friday at the varsity football game, MCU Sports will be selling Spirit Gear. Yeah. There's your choices, guys. We got t-shirts. T-shirts. Let, let's show this t-shirt off right now. Drip. Look at that. Oh. Drip check. Oh, look at oh that drip. My oh, gosh. Look at that nice. Ooh. Don't you so guys want drippy. that? Look at these. Sunglasses, lanyards. Yeah, man. Hats. Gotta get ah! the bucket hats. And the drip, drip. is Come respectable. On, guys. Got to show up to school but, dripping. But that Valley View merch is impeccable, am I yeah, right? Come on, guys. Get, oh. get some drip at the game. Mm-hmm. Very nice. You guys want this. Yeah, Trust me. Come on, guys. Uh, our varsity football team has their second game of the season and their first home game this Friday against Hillcrest. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. this Friday, so show up. Our freshman and JV teams both have games at Hillcrest tomorrow at 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. respectively. Go out and sport your Falcons as much as possible. Caca, caca, caca. Caca. So, our marching band is doing their first performance on Friday at the varsity football game. So, if you can attend the game, go and see them. Now on to some boys soccer. Unfortunately, our Falcons lost again to Bishop, or against Bishop Kelly last night, 0-3, but that shouldn't discourage them. Boys soccer will be playing Emmett at 6 tomorrow, so go out, and, go out there and be loud and proud. Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo. Girls soccer had a game last night. Uh, JV sadly lost 0-18 oh. against BK, we'll but Varsity won their game last night against BK, and the score was 2-1. to one. Let's go. In the first half, no one scored, but in the second half, BK scored one goal, but then there came, there come Elizabeth Soto, scoring two goals, winning the game for Valley View. Let's go! Hold on, my earbud's falling out. Okay, and now we have Tucker Keister with an interview with Elizabeth Soto. Welcome back guys, Tucker Keister for VSPN Sports. Today we have Elizabeth Soto with us. And we just wanted to ask you about the game last night. Can you tell us how that went? Um, it went really good. Um, I'm really proud of a t our team. It was a big team effort, big win. We made history, first time beating BK in what, like six years? Um, scored two goals, had one against us, but it's okay. And I'm just really glad everyone that came out to watch us, our friends, the coaches really pushed us. We all pushed ourselves and we just got through it. That's amazing. How does it feel going forward for the team to have such a big win? Um, it really pushes us because we want to like make it to state, be possibly state champions and just beating BK helps us like believe it a little more because they're first in the conference and we're just like a little bit below them. and. After we told everyone that we won, they're like, no way, you guys beat them, how was it? And it's just really, I'm just really proud of everyone for how they did and what we have going forward. That must have taken a lot of practice to be a team that good. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, our practices are really intense. Um, at the beginning, we were kind of slow because, I don't know, we just didn't have the right mindset, but then we all collected our thoughts together and we're like, we need to step it up, we need to, make sure we're talking to each other, not arguing, and just pushing forward as a team all together. So I think just everyone just working as a team is like what really helped us yesterday. So sports always take a team effort, but you did have both the goals. How does that feel? 
It feels amazing, especially since it's my senior year. Um, my first goal was I didn't even think it was going to go in. Mostly no one thought it was going to go in, but surprisingly it went in. Um, my second goal was just touch in goal, but I'm just really glad that both of them were able to go in because that's what got us the win. Thank you so much for letting us interview you. Uh, any final words? Um, go Falcons, state champs. Hope Thanks. For butchering your name. <laughs> sorry, I'm actually really sorry. Um, also, the boys' soccer game is here at Valley View. Our volleyball team will be going up against Columbia this upcoming Thursday at 6.30 p.m. So make sure, make sure to be there. And good luck, Falcons. Okay. We're starting over. We're start, why? Because she said start it over. We did, we did so good. Oh, we're starting right there? Okay. Tell us when to start. Oh, go, okay. go. My apologies for Elizabeth. Sorry. From my apologies to Lizbeth for butchering your name. Sorry. <laughs> also, boys soccer game is here at Valley View. Our volleyball team will be going up against Columbia this upcoming Thursday at 6.30 p.m. So make sure to be there. Go sports. And good luck, Falcons. That's all for Valley View News now, and on to our Falcon Fact of the Day and local news. If you like nature and animals, the next subjects are for you. Did you guys know that? Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. i got to pronounce this. Anatide, anatidophobia is the fear of one duck watching you somehow and somewhere. That's really strange. That's pretty strange. You may already know Idaho is going through a drought. This could be the start to a multi-year drought as the result of hydroelectricity may be taking a hit. Hydroelectricity benefits from lower costs than normal from about 20% to 30% with the drought. Hydroelectricity will not be as reliable as it normally would be, resulting in less power production so far. So far, this has been the worst drought on record since 1924. That was 97 years ago. That is all for today's episode of VSPN. This is the news that was... Oh, wait, what? Hold on, guys. I had a error. This is the news that was presented to you on September 1st, 2021. You will see us again on September 3rd with information on events that will happen later today or on Thursday. And hype up for the, the big game. game. Yeah. Let's go. Hype up for the big game, guys. Come on. Get hype. Let's go. We will see you in the next one. And remember, no PDA. No PDA. No on, doing guys. this.